today, <laughs> today I went to the store. I absolutely love that store. That dollar store called The Action. And they had these diary journal refill set. And there is a Blanco set and a month diary set and a dotted set. So this is the, the pink one is the Blanco. Yeah, so it's just clear sheets. And the white is the diary. Oh my gosh, look at this. How easy is that? Month, week. So that is perfect. And then this will be the dotted, which we can easily use also for writing in or draw something in here. So I thought, wow, this is amazing. Really fun to use in, um, in a traveler's notebook. So um, this is not planned. <laughs> I just got these today. And um, well, I thought, yeah, let's make um, a quick traveler's notebook. And I'm going to try. Well, I know for sure because I can't wait. I can't wait to start with these papers. These are really too gorgeous. And I want to do something with it. And um, yeah, these are just, I love these and they are so me. So that is why I'm going to make a traveler's notebook of at least um, that's one project I'm going to do with it. So yeah, okay, let's get started. Okay, first thing we are going to measure the inserts and these measure, yeah, 21 centimeters and um, that's 8 1 fourth inch and we need to make that a little bigger because we need that space for making the holes in it so I'm gonna cut my chipboard and, and I'm going to make these 1 fourth larger on each side so I'm gonna cut my chipboard at 8 3 4 I always like to write it down because I'm terrible in remembering things and then I'm just going to cut the wrong measurement and that is not what I had in mind and uh, the inside um, this one is 4 one fourth and I just want to make it just a little bigger. Um, yeah, I don't think yeah we can make it on the side. We can make it a half inch bigger. Then I am at four three fourth. Then we have a little left here if you want some um, tabs making on here. So yeah, let's do that by. Four, three, four. All right. So I'm gonna cut my chipboard, and how how thick we want this? Well, not too thick, but not too uh, less thick. So shall we do this? Mm, one and a half. Shall that be enough? I don't know. I don't know. No. Yeah, I think one and a half will do. The travel's notebook is not supposed to be too thick, so but I wanted to have a little space, so I'm gonna make it one and a half thick. I hope it's thick enough. Fingers crossed for that. So that is the spine. So the spine is one and a half by eight three fourth. All right, so I'm gonna chip. I'm gonna cut my chipboard and then I'll be back. Okay, I changed one thing. I made up my mind to do the spine just a one fourth extra. So I cut mine in one three fourth. So the measurements are eight three fourth by four three fourth. That's the cover, and then the spine is one three fourth by eight three fourth. Okay, that is the measurements that I am going to need. All right, so let's make first. 
the cover and I'm going to use contact paper again so that is the measurements here now what I like to do is always use my leftover pieces um, that is just what I like to use use your leftovers and that is what I'm going to do so I'm going to cut this piece going to start with this this piece right here come on we can do it there we go and I'm just going to start with the first one That is done. Now I'm just going to see if this is fitting. No. Mm, not quite, but I believe I do have another piece. I want to use my leftovers. Why throw this away? No. Is it expensive enough? this hobby and you know me I can't throw anything away if we can't use it then of course it's okay to throw something away but if we can use it why not use it so see how easy that went Alright, so now I'm going to attach my spine and again, same as my albums, I stay away from that edge, at least 3 millimeters away. And this is not, oh, I think I need another piece, this one is just a little ew, too off. Darn. Door, door, door. I need another piece. That's okay. Otherwise, I will. I would have thrown this away. So, but I didn't. I didn't. I kept it. And it's always good to cover it up. It's a shame, of course, that that is just for. A one inch piece but yeah that's that's life so I'm going to overlap this a little more just because I can okay now here we are at that three millimeter oops left over not left over um, curve not it's not a curve <laughs> this opening oh my gosh yeah 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 now I'm gonna cut the rest of this off now this of course I am going to throw it away and let's cut the corners and I'm leaving a little bit left in that corner at least two millimeters leave that open Here we go. Now I'm grabbing my bone folder and I'm just starting in the middle. Now this is not attached nice, but let's let's just start with this piece. The rest will attach in just a second. See that works better. Here we go. Attach it to your chipboard. Let's go to this side. 
put it in that chipboard. Okay, now I'm just going to fold this in. In. <laughs> I'm going to fold it in. Yes. Oh. Now I hope that I'm doing this good with this match. Of course, Diane, that was not very clever of you. Well, let's see what happens. I hope it's not getting loose. I think it will, but let's fix that in a second with some extra tape. Just in case. And when your paper is on, then there is nothing um, left to see. So that is just good. Just cut just a little off. I made it a little bit too short. Okay. Tuck it in. Tuck that in. See how easy that is. How quick. I just love contact paper. And it's be found in uh, I think in any oops in any building store. I don't know exactly, but um, I think they are. This this material is normal be used for um, cover up covering up uh, furniture or something like that. Well in my country, it, it is be found in uh, a building store or a good hobby store where, the, where you can DIY your furniture, where you can pimp your furniture. And you also have this kind of materials for your windows. Um, so check it out. In any country there is a building store, you even have uh, something like IKEA or something. I don't know if IKEA has it, but or a Carwei, Gamma, that are the stores here in Holland. Big building stores where you can buy stuff to restaurate your house. Okay, so that's done. Alright, cool. Yeah, they fit in here. Check, check, check it out. Check, check it out. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, so next step is I always like um, add some black paper before I continuing. So, um, yeah, I don't know why. That's just me, I think, um, especially on the inside. Um, but inside I will do later. I first go do the cover and I'm going to search for some book pointers linen. Um, let's see what, oh, let's see what I have. <laughs> I, was, I was just grabbing my uh, big, uh, basket but this was on top oh it is meant to be i think show you the white oh my goodness what color do we want mm, white is good black will do good too but white oh that will be fancy and this is a nice small piece yeah Let's use it. Oh, we can use black. Oh, we do have this piece. That's a cream color. Brown, black. But I'm going to use that. It was on top. So why not use it? There we go. Okay, so I am going to cut this down. And... How much that is just a bit over the edge. 
And that bit over the edge is, let's say, 3 fourths. 3 fourths, so that is. That is three four. That's right here. All right. So I'm gonna cut this at the correct size, and then I'll be back to you. And then um, I'm gonna search already which paper I'm gonna use. So then I'll be back to you. Oh my! I can't choose. Ah! <laughs> I absolutely love this one, the blue one, and then this for the back. But I like this one too. Okay, that is hard. That is. So this is. And if I use this, then I think I will. I will use only the half of this butterfly. Oh my gosh, this pink one is also nice. Shoot me. I go for the blue. <laughs> because yeah, we do we do need some on the inside too. So I'm gonna do the blue. And uh, how I do that is well uh, I'm gonna use this flower for the front, but we did measure um, three fourth. So yeah, I'm just going to Cut the papers down and I'm going to cut it fully like that and then I'm just going to, I'm just going to apply, yeah, almost to the end like that. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to attach these papers on the front and back and then I will apply this bookbinders linen and when I am almost done with the outside i'll come back to you i thought it will be fun to show you just all so i cut my papers in the right position and now i'm just going to apply some black ink all the way around So you don't see that white edges. Okay, so let's start for the front. And this is the back. This is the front. Okay, so I am going to attach this with some um, with some um, tape. I'm going to use some tape. Um, and this is a very old one, but um, I'm still going to use it till it's running out. I do like using everything. I hope I am not a frame with my hat. <laughs> if I do, I am very sorry. Okay, now for the last piece we can use another piece, but I absolutely love using um, tape for the inside, so you don't want your cover paper is going to be loose, so that is why I like using tape. Okay, so it won't get loose. At least that is not the intention. But I do like to move a bit. So I am going to use, only on the edges, I'm going to use a bit of glitter glue, just the edges, so it gives a little time to wiggle, to move around. Sometimes that is needed. All right, this is up. Uh, let's just place it on that spot. There we go. Um, 
bring it down. Let the tape attach your contact paper. Here we go. All right, so let's go to the back. I'm gonna do, oh, the tape is, <laughs> oh, yeah. the tape was sticking to my glass. Thank God it was empty, An empty glass. <laughs> Okay, so I absolutely love doing a spontaneous project. I was just thinking today of it. I just uh, finished up um, my Cosmos album. And when I, I'm still uploading uh, after editing and a photo, um, editing how you call that when you are working fixing your photos i know the dutch word but i can't come up with the english word photoshop yeah i think it's called photoshop anyway or i'm making thumbnails or anything like that the photos that needs to be and making a thumbnail so youtube has a nicer um front that you see so yeah it's it's not <laughs> it's not that um being on youtube is that easy but i love it yay i absolutely love it but it takes time all right now what is up and what is down but i do like this up i think this is up okay so let's do this on the back but um like i said i was uploading and and in the meantime, I was thinking about these um, papers and I thought, oh my gosh, I want to do something with that. But actually, it's time to begin on a new, uh, on a new kit, um, um, working on papers that I bought <laughs> seven months ago. So it's really time. It's time for me to start on a new kit. But I can't get my... Uh, mind of these papers. I really love it. I really love that these papers also have that shine. Can you see that? Especially on this spot. The shine. Absolutely gorgeous papers. Now I am going to add this piece right here. So let's unwrap this piece. So while I was uploading and making notes for every single thing that is needed mm -hmm. to put a note on, this is not good, but I will fix that. This is not good. Do you going to see that? I don't think so. Did you see that? I hope not. But this now needs some extra tape. And it's sticky. Of course, it's sticky. Okay, let's move this. So I was thinking of these papers and I thought what kind of a nice project I could use. Uh, yeah, because you don't have that much. There was not there was plenty, plenty of um, papers in there. But yeah, you know me, I am normally an album maker. Not always, but most of the time. And um, but sometimes it's so much fun to do a nice small project, like a traveler's notebook. And I thought, yeah, that's the perfect project to use these papers. So that is why I could not wait till Monday <laughs> to start on a traveler's notebook. And I hope it does not take too much time. I don't think so, but 
but I don't want to rush anything. It's just, it's just a Friday night when my guys are at the gym, and um, and I don't like to watch uh, television all night. Nope, I don't. Now this is just a little too high. But no, it's it'll do. Or can I cut it down just a bit? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? I will check that out. I can. I can peel this off a bit. Let me come back in a second when I fix this. You know, I'm a perfectionist. I do like it good. <laughs> Okay, um, what I always like to do is cover up this cut edge and um, I was searching for some blue, you can use seam binding or um, satin, uh, ribbon, this is even a nice color, but I use, I'm going to use this piece and let's cut this in half, it's one of my last, the last one from this blue. But I absolutely love this color. I think it matched perfectly. Um, so I am going to add this nicely a bit over that edge. So that edge is covered up, but not too much. Because this white is already wide enough. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add this right here. And then I'll come back to you. The next step that I like to do is add some black inside. So I um, glued two pieces together and before I'm going to add some tape on that black, I am going to add some tape on here on the inside too. Well, these steps are actually exactly the same as I make my mini albums. So yeah, for those who follow me. This is all natural for you guys. Oh wait, before I peel that off, I am going to attach some tape around my paper too. Give it a push. Just going every single spot. Then, especially on the spine, muscles. We need muscles. So now I attach some tape on here on that opening for the spine and that is why I touch, uh, attach some tape so it won't get loose if you use only 
glue, then you just need to wait then it's dry. But now I don't have to wait. Yay! <laughs> Who likes waiting? I'm not. So I'm really going to attach that tape against that spine opening. And then you just can place that paper inside. Okay, so that is that. Wow, this looks amazing. It's not a traveler's notebook. <laughs> it's too beautiful. <laughs> All right, so now the cover is done. And uh, we're going to make three inserts, of course. So we're going to make um, three openings, three um, holes in it. And I'm going to be as close as I can on the edge right here because we need that space and um, we can see and i'm gonna just come to eyeball this just for a second that there is the end of that booklet insert all right so i'm just going to measure that up for making three holes and then I'll come back to you. And uh, we have to think of uh, a closure. Do we want um, a closure right here? Or do we want just a simple closure on here? Well, for me, I do like a larger um, unwrapping an album. Because, yeah, then you have to put something here. And so I think I am going to add a middle... Uh, opening two for that elastic band to cover this up. So, okay, back in one second. All right, so I added my six, seven holes, three at the end and one in the middle for the closure. And um, yeah, let's put some elastic in here. Um, which side? Oh yeah, this this one is it. <laughs> Okay, so um, how we are going to start? Um, I am going to start. I hope I do this correctly. One here and one at the opposite side. Nope, that's not good, Diane. How did I do that? How did I do it? I think we go to the outside. Yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh, I just did it. <laughs> and now I'm already do not know it. Okay, let's just start at the bottom. And then we go to the top. Um, I think I am totally wrong. I just did it, but yeah, you know me. Then this. Um, oh my gosh, I'm terrible. I know. I know I'm terrible. Let me just think. I think this one needs to go in here. And then we come up. And then I need some more elastic. And then we go back to the top. Yeah, and now these two are out. But we just can make another loop on here. Just put this away and push that. See, so you have two loops on the outside. I do have something, I think, with my memory. I am. I just did that and then when I wanted to do it for you guys on film, then I'm totally <laughs> off. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we have now three strings and of course we need to tie that up a little tighter. Of course, let's tie this up and this one also needs to be tied from this from here. Okay, and this one is from here. Yes. 
Okay, so now I'm going to make a... Um, yeah, we can go out. But then, um, if you do this, um, you can tie this up and then make another loop for the outside. But, yeah, if I go outside right here, then we have to tie this up. I'm going to show you. So you have two, um, two options. You can... You can push this to the outside, like this, if, if it's, if, let's cut this short, yay, pretty thick elastic, so you can move this to the other side, I think, and then make that closure, but then we have a knob here, and I don't want, I don't like that. I don't like having a knob. So that is not what I am going to do, but it's just an option. I'm just going to tie this up. I think, are these tight? Well, it could have be a little tighter, so let's do that. Let's make this one. All right, let's make that knob and wait for just a minute. I need to go under here, otherwise I am in the way of my, yeah, this is better. You don't want to get in the way, otherwise your booklet, your insert is not fitting. Oh yeah, now I'm a terrible um, knot maker. I actually want to call my girl to try to keep this in place for me, but let's see if we can do this on my own. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why I did make that noise? I don't know. I'm crazy. Call me crazy. I am. Okay. So now we have three of these inserts. One, two, well, actually four. You can use this one too, if you like. Um, yeah, so actually that is done already, but um, I want to, yeah, I can do a closure right now at this point, or do that in a later stage, whatever you're feeling like. can do that when it's a bit already already. Am I in? This is getting in the way. One is in. One is in. And then here we go with the other one. Okay, so of course this needs to be right here. And then, yeah, you just... But I think I will do this on the end when this is full. Then it's easier to measure how wide this is. So I think, yeah, I will do that on a later stage. We still have that uh, time. So, but you get the picture, don't you? Okay. <laughs> so let me clean up my elastic. And um, so these inserts are actually already ready but of course i'm gonna um, make some and make them prettier of course with some of that beautiful papers but i just want to see if it's fitting before i use more paper and yes of course it fits this fits perfectly. Cool. So I'm going to decorate these inserts. And yeah. And then when I'm done, we can add 
some pockets in here. We do one like that. And uh, you still can use um, this piece right here. You still can use it. So if you want to add another insert, but I think I'm going to make a pocket um, insert. I don't know the name. Um, I'm not, I'm not a regular user for uh, Traveler Notebooks. So forgive me that I do not know every single perfect word for it. But you will forgive me. I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed for that. <laughs> so I'm going to put some decoration paper on these uh, booklets. And then I'll come back to you. Alright, since my battery from my video is off. Um. I don't like to craft without any music. So I thought, well, I am going to decorate uh, the last insert with you together. So I already did two. Um, the first one, um, I messed up just a bit uh, because my duct tape goes over this beautiful paper. And I actually don't like that. So the second one, I put on my duct tape first and then put some... Um, the decorative paper over it that I really like much more. Um, you don't need duct tape if you have uh, a paper that goes all the way around. I wish I did. I wish actually that uh, this will fit on these booklets. But it isn't because then you can wrap it all the way around. But it isn't. Um, and I don't want to um, cover an edge on here because things will get loose and uh, so that's why I choose uh, to cut these papers in two. So I did um, cover up a bit of that white duct tape on this one and actually it, I really like how it turns out. I will not do on every one of them um, because I think that's too much. But I will go and make one insert how I put some decoration paper on these and so let's get started so first of all I'm gonna measure and I'm going to measure a little bit wider than the insert is and just cutting this and then I'm just going to fold this in half Cut this in half. Alright, so that is what I have for my second insert. Okay, now before I start, well of course this is already white, but I'm gonna use some duct tape for it. Because the other ones weren't um, weren't white, so yeah, let's cut this. Um, let's try to. And that's really handy with this um, with this cutting mat with these squares on. That's really handy. So I can line this up as perfect as it can get. And then I'm just going to wrap this around. And then I'm just going to cut. Use your scissor or a knife. And I'm just going to cut the edges. one but you also can use a knife of course you also can cut just along the edges just like that and then open it up and then you can cut it all the way that's just what you prefer using I don't know what's best I don't know well the scissor did it did a good job too uh, just a little I'm a little perfectionist. Yeah. All right. So that is that for covering up the sides. And you can use any color, of course. I just use white because I did use some white on the cover too. Now, what I like to do is um, I only have to 
this dress the left side of this page because the other one we are going to do that a little so I'm just going to add <coughs> sorry some double sided tape all the way around and on the small edges I'm gonna add double because we are going to cut a bit off and I don't want that this is not going to be on its place now I'm just going to add not add <laughs> I'm gonna peel off my double sided tape there we go and then I'm gonna add some glue on the inside and I'm going to use our glitter glue love that glue alright so now we just pull this to the sides and I'm just going to place this on the white spot now I'm just going to be sure that this is nice and straight and I'm just going a little over it. Not much, but just a little. Alright. And then I think you get the picture what I'm going to do. Is I'm going... You can use your scissor or you can use your knife. Just, and you can use also a ruler. But my inserts covers are pretty thick. So I can cut just along. I don't need a roller. So we just cut this nicely of that insert cover. Here we go, just a little tin. Alright, and then you can cut this nicely around or you can use your um, corner punch so move this move it move it go away Alright, and now I can smooch these edges. Okay, that's that. That's how I cover up. I think I need a new one. That's how I cover up the inserts. Well, let's do the back too, but that's how I do it. Nice clean edge all the way around nicely attached that's done all right so let's do the back too and then i'll come back to you so this um i really like so i don't have to put some decoration on but actually i really like how this turns out but i'm not going to do all of them so only two no only one <laughs> anyway i'm going to do the back and then let's see yeah, I think then the pockets. Cool.